Methotrexate is a popular disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug, and it is the first-line treatment for rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. It is an immunosuppressant, meaning it suppresses the immune system. Methotrexate is a folic analog and works by inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase. Dihydrofolate reductase is an important enzyme in the synthesis of nucleotides. Folic acid from our diet is converted to dihydrofolate and through dihydrofolate reductase becomes tetrahydrofolate. Tetrahydrofolate is converted to 5,10-methyltetrahydrofolate, which through the enzyme thymidylate synthase becomes dihydrofolate again. And this is a double reaction because with thymidylate synthase, it also converts uh, DUMP to DTMP in the process. And DTMP, through a series of reactions, eventually makes thymine, which is a part of the nucleotide that is required for DNA synthesis. Methotrexate is known to inhibit dihydrofolate reductase, but also thymidylate synthase, leading to decreased synthesis of thymine which is required for DNA synthesis. 5,10-methyltetrahydrofolate becomes 5-methyltetrahydrofolate through the enzyme methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. 5-methyltetrahydrofolate can be recycled to tetrahydrofolate through a co-reaction with methionine synthase, which uses uh, vitamin B12. The second reaction involves conversion of homocysteine to methionine. So why is this important? Well, as you can see, methotrexate essentially reduces levels of methionine, and this results in the disruption in the methionine cycle. It reduces methionine levels and increases homocysteine levels. Methotrexate also inhibits this long enzyme name by the name of Amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide formal transferase, also known as AICART. This enzyme is important in the conversion of AICAR to IMP, a precursor to purines, adenine, and guanine, which are required for RNA and DNA synthesis. And so, inhibiting AICART, it reduces the purine nucleotides and increases AICAR. Aside from impairing nucleic acid synthesis to make DNA, the reaction here also increases AICAR, which is thought to have anti inflammatory effects. Impaired nucleic acid synthesis suppresses rapidly dividing cells, such as immune cells. And so this will essentially disrupt the S phase of the cell cycle, responsible for making DNA. Thus, in rheumatological diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, it is immunosuppressive and reduces inflammation and joint destruction. Because methotrexate affects nucleic acid synthesis and inhibits the cell cycle from progressing to the S phase, methotrexate is also used in other conditions with rapidly dividing cells, such as ectopic pregnancy and malignancy, which both have cells dividing rapidly. Methotrexate is given as one weekly dosing, orally or subcutaneous. It can also be given intrathecal in cancer conditions. Because of its inhibitory effects on dihydrofolate reductase, it should not be used with trimethoprim, which is a common antibiotic used for urinary tract infections. This is because trimethoprim is also an inhibitor of folic acid metabolism and can cause bone marrow suppression, essentially. Due to its inhibitory effects of nucleotide synthesis, and thus the cell cycle, methotrexate can be toxic to normal cells. And so it can cause side effects such as hepatotoxicity, 
GI hemorrhagic enteritis, gum bleeding, gum ulcers, and bone marrow suppression causing cytopenias. Methotrexate is known to be a cause of macrocytic anemia. Caution, methotrexate should be avoided in renal and liver disease. Again, due to its inhibitory effects of nucleotide synthesis, methotrexate can be toxic to normal cells. Thus, folic acid is recommended. Folic acid is preferentially taken up by normal cells, and so it minimizes toxicity of methotrexate while preserving efficacy. In cases of severe toxicity, emergency folinic acid, also known as leucovorin, can be given to reduce methotrexate toxicity. Folinic acid is an active metabolite of folic acid and essentially bypasses the inhibited uh, dihydrofolate reductase. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the pharmacology of methotrexate.